able to have a barbecue feast in an old jail. This former jail in California near Coney Island will soon be pig candy. It'll feature barbecue mainstays like pulled pork, smoked turkey, and ribs. The big change up will be the sides. They will be healthier than your typical barbecue joint. Things like sweet potato, cauliflower mash, vegetable pasta salad, and spinach quinoa. After a pandemic related delay, one of America's most anticipated restaurants is now open downtown. Cora is in the recently opened Kinley Hotel at 7th and Race. And what sets this place apart from others is the key menu ingredients, ancient grains. We really got to a point where we were thinking about all these different grains. We really wanted to highlight them because they all have different flavor profiles and just finding different ways to accentuate the flavors, you know, make a uh, you know, kind of a unique and new experience. And on top of the grain centric dishes, there's also a New York strip with black truffle, a dry aged beef tartare with sauerkraut kimchi, and whole wheat from 16 bricks with carrot butter, radish, pickle kohlrabi, and mint. And a French onion dip in ca with caviar and Saratoga chips. Cora is open Monday through Saturday. A century-old Northern Kentucky establishment is getting new owners. Butch and Marianne Wainscott sold the Greyhound Tavern after more than 30 years of operation. The Fort Mitchell, Mitchell staple is known for its fried chicken and other southern sides, like the Kentucky Hot Brown. Back in the day, it was located at the end of the line for streetcars. The new owner is One Holland Group, a company based in Taylor Mill.